Hey everybody, Danny, Tamika, we're Kayfabe Jiu Jitsu. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We are still in our garage, but today we are going to be answering the internet's burning uh, Jiu Jitsu questions. Uh, so what we did is we just uh, went and looked at some of the most frequently asked questions about Jiu Jitsu on the internet, grabbed a couple of them, uh, and have done our best to answer them. So all the answers in here are obviously just our opinion. We've got 16, 17 years of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu experience between the two of us, so we're qualified. But it doesn't mean we're right. If you have any other questions about Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, throw them down in the comments. We might get to them in a future video. Otherwise, we'll do another batch of the Internet's questions, uh, maybe on something a little more... Risqué. Risqué. It probably won't be. It'll probably mostly just be more questions about belts. All right, hope you enjoy it. If you do, subscribe. All right, let's get into it. What's our first question? What does jujitsu mean? Like the words? Uh, so jujitsu uh, means the gentle way or the gentle art. Uh, but that, that can be a little misleading. If you've ever seen jujitsu practice, uh, gentle doesn't really describe it. But that, you know, that part of the word uh, could also mean uh, soft, flexible, pliable, uh, resilient, uh, or, or yielding. What it really means uh, is that jiu-jitsu is practiced uh, with the idea that technique, leverage, and the proper application of force can overcome just pure force. You know, so you'll, a lot of times you'll see us try to get out of the way of something or redirect something rather than try to meet it head on. But that's what jiu-jitsu means. How many belts are there in jiu-jitsu? There's a few different setups for children ranking in jiu-jitsu. It can vary by academy. Um, but if we're talking about adult belts, there's five levels. There's white, blue, purple, brown, and black, which is your top ranking and denotes you being an expert in the field. Um, some academies also use striping on their belts. Um, you may not see it in some places, but most do use it. Um, and it helps the jiu-jitsu practitioner know kind of where they're at within their belt level to know when they're getting ready to advance. There are a few um, belt levels above black, but those are typically awarded to the founders of the art or people who have impacted it greatly. What's a jiu-jitsu gi? The gi is the uniform that we wear when we train and when we go to competitions. I'll stand up and show you the different parts. The gi comes in two parts. You have your gi pants, which are held together with a kind of rope or a tie. The top part is the gi top, um, sometimes called the jacket which is held together with your belt. The belt denotes your rank within the system. Traditionally, jiu-jitsu is practiced with the gi on, but you can also train um, no gi, where you're just wearing a rash guard. What's a jiu-jitsu fight? <laughs> so a jiu-jitsu fight, uh, which is what we call our matches for some bizarre reason, uh, so it's a, a meeting between two uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners to decide who's a better grappler. It's usually contested at a tournament, or sometimes we have super fights and things like that. But mostly it's just uh, a fight in which there's typically no striking, or very little striking, in the case of something like combat Jiu-Jitsu, where open palm strikes are allowed on the ground. Uh, but there's very little striking. It's mostly grappling versus grappling. You'll see it a lot at tournaments. It can be done in the gi, Without the gi, could be a bunch of different rule sets. Google it, you'll see a bunch of them. But depending on the rule set for those fights, the match could end by points, it could end by submission, or it could even end by a referee's decision. Scoring a jiu-jitsu match can be a little complicated depending on uh, what rule set you're fighting under, but typically points are awarded for things like takedowns, guard passes, dominant positions, or even attempted submissions. Is jiu-jitsu safe? Uh, sure, <laughs> yes, absolutely. 
jujitsu is, is a safe activity to enjoy. Now, it's a contact sport, like anything else, so accidents do happen, the same as they happen in baseball or cheerleading or racquetball. Um, you know, there's a certain amount of uh, give and take that happens during a jiu-jitsu match or during training where you are going at one another fairly hard. We use a submission system for finishes. So if I get caught in a choke or a joint lock or I'm just in a position that I, I'm finding painful or uncomfortable, it's perfectly okay for me to submit, to tap out, and just start over. You know, so in that way, even a beginner can train with somebody who's very advanced because they're not going to get hurt. If it starts to hurt, you simply tell your partner by tapping and you'll get out of whatever's hurting. So if you're both paying attention and you're both being careful, you can train at a very high pace, at a very high intensity, without risking a horrible injury. Now, that being said, jiu-jitsu is a contact sport. Accidents do happen. You might get your eye blacked out, you might get your head knocked, you might get your arm twisted a little bit, but take some time off, recover, come back, and get back at it. How do you tie your jiu-jitsu belt? I guess I'd say there isn't an exact correct answer to this question. You kind of just tie your belt however you feel comfortable tying it. Um, I've never come across an academy that has specific rules, like you have to tie your, your belt a specific way. Um, so some people just kind of throw it around themselves, double knot it and go. Some people have very particular belts that they like to use, like me. I use the same one every time. It's just kind of the one that makes me feel most comfortable. Um, and I'll show you what that looks like, and then we'll go through a couple other ways that people tie theirs. Okay, so in general, um, when you tie your belt, what you want to make sure that you do is wrap around yourself twice. Otherwise, your belt is going to be way too long. They're meant to be wrapped around twice. Um, the other thing I like to try to do is make sure that both of my tails here are relatively the same length. Um, again, that's not super important. It's just kind of an aesthetic thing. Um, makes you look like you know what you're doing. Um, and you want to make sure you have the right size of belt. So you'll notice my tails go down just to past my, my gi top here. Um, if my belt is too long, it's going to go way down here. Um, it's going to get in the way when you're rolling around. If it's too short, your knot might come undone too easily. It won't stay in place. Um, so just try to pick the belt size that works best for your body type. Um, this belt tie that I have around myself right now, I've been told is the Hollywood tie. Um, I guess really it's just the first one I came across when I was looking a, a, for information on how to tie my own belt. So it's just what I uh, stuck with the whole time. Um, it's very secure. I can cinch it up really easily by just pulling on it and then doing that. So if it does come loose, I don't have to take it all the way off, put it back on. It's just what I prefer. Some people really don't care. We'll introduce someone right now who doesn't really care. I did a video on this before, um, the way that I like to tie my belt, but I'm just going to do it again quickly. If you want a more close-up version, you can go ahead and check that out um, and watch it. But here's how I do it. Here, I'm going to go around twice, making sure it's not twisted. Bring it to the center. I've got one lapel that's on top. Bring that under, cinch it tight, make a loop. Stick it in just the top belt. This one goes through that loop. Again, through just the top. Cinch it, and you're good to go. It does not take that much longer, and it looks beautiful. What a waste of time. <laughs> well, that was Kayfabe Jiu-Jitsu here. That's us. 
answering some of the internet's burning questions about jiu-jitsu. Uh, today we just have sort of went over some of the questions about what is jiu-jitsu and kind of more from the perspective of somebody who doesn't train what they might want to know about jiu-jitsu. Um, if you like this, you want to see us answer more uh, questions about Brazilian jiu-jitsu, let us know in the comments uh, or ask your own questions in the comments. We'll uh, maybe answer them. All right. Thank you. I've been Danny. She's been Tanika. Still is. Talk to you soon.